Hi, I'm Sebastian Serdag of Laguna Beach Foodies, and today we are at Romeo Cucina. We're going to sit down with the executive chef and owner, Vincenzo Romeo, who's going to tell us about his family traditions, how they came to be here in Laguna, and share with us some of their secret recipes and signature dishes. So stay tuned. This is a business that we've been doing for 20 years here, but also we have the restaurant or uh, Osteria in Italia, in south of Italy. Mm -hmm. And we kept the restaurant tradition and the family going. And uh, some of us went to the culinary school and uh, we tried, we came up with this uh, Romeo Cucina menu, which is, uh, is a mix between the classic and the new, and uh, that's our intent to incorporate the classic and do new things all the time and uh, everything fresh in the way that we bake here. We make our own uh, pastas or desserts, uh, pizza, brick oven. Yes, you have a brick oven. Yes, we do. We have a brick oven and we do, we use a eucalyptus wood and also we grill our meats there because we have this great grill which you can put on top of the ashes of the eucalyptus and uh, the meats they get this beautiful smoky taste. Yeah. Then I will show you the later a trees of tortelloni, one tortelloni with pesto with short rib, the filling, finished with the parmigiano and arugula, and then a nice pappardelle alle carne di cervo which is palpardelle a uh, venison ragu, a ragu mm. that we prepare of venison, venison. and porcini, uh, and we finish the pappardelle in mascarpone, and a risotto, risotto with uh, saffron, carrots, celery, shrimps, and scallops, and a few mushrooms as well, like a paella, a risotto. And that's so beautiful, because they, you see this three beautiful dish, new, and uh, green, uh, yellow, yellow and pink, had they come out of the plate, that thing is going to be the next plate I'm going to put on the menu. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That, and we're going to get to try that? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, looking forward to it. Shall we move into the kitchen? We're going to start with a little bit of garlic to each one of them. Yeah. This is... So you change the temperature. So this will be for the pappardelle. A part of the some porcini, dry porcini. Okay, a little bit of parsley, and then you display the with a little bit of brandy. And what? Once you do this, a little water from the porcini. And a uh, little tomato sauce. And you let it work. Now you can focus on this one. Too much garlic will be the pasta with the cream. So the, stop the cooking of the garlic with a little bit of pasta. You're waiting to stop the cooking and you play it with a little bit of brandy. Touch of uh, cream, not too much, because you're going to be tortelloni, so you need just the right amount of sauce, a little parmigiano. Then I go to the salt and pepper and let it work. Now this is still okay. We go shrimp and scallops. We're gonna make sure we stop that cooking. Shrimp scallops to mushrooms. This is a good combination right here. Brandy and wine at the same time. Then you put a little bit of cream. This is fish fume. Right? And you let it work. This is the risotto. Now, next step. Papartelle. We have the papartelle cooking. The risotto is right here. This is the risotto. We had to follow the procedure to do the risotto. So they, you know, the risotto, once you get to this point, Open a little bit in our sauce and do it. And let the time and fire do the rest. Now it's time for the tortelloni with the short rib and a mirepoix of mushroom going in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the mascarpone in there. 
Now, mascarpone is a, like butter. It's not an ingredient that you don't want to cook. So a butter is a phenomenal, phenomenal ingredient. So, but a lot of people want to cook with butter. They put it before. The butter deflates, no taste. The butter's gonna be dropped at the last minute. And all the beautiful flavor of the butter, and the mascarpone as well. And the pesto, too, stays there as you want. The tortellone, voila, done. What do we do? We're gonna add our fresh pesto, homemade pesto, nothing better than that. The parmigiano, toast. Now this pasta that I'm making right now, it's very important to cut a little dente, maybe twelve dente. Okay, it's gonna keep cooking anyway. When it's ready, I'm gonna add the mascarpone. Oh. And this is our mascarpone. Mascarpone is so good to cook. It's phenomenal. It's cream cheese, but fine paste cheese. We toast it up. The one here. And then we do a nice plate here. I'm not gonna put not too much, it should be a bigger plate. And then put the three. Plate. Here, finish a little bit, sprinkle, buon appetito. And then we're going to have a nice glass of Zola, Nero d'Avola. It's going to taste phenomenal. Here we have the final product, the taste of Romeo, a trio of pappardelle. Pappardelle alle carni di cervo. Alla carne di cervo. Bravissimo. With the pappardelle, with the little bit of uh, ragù of uh, venison and uh, porcini mushrooms. Ragù of venison, uh, porcini mushrooms and mascarpone. Then we have tortelloni. Tortelloni filled with a uh, short rib and uh, a mirapa of uh, the the carrots and vegetables. And also we have a risotto zafferano. So oh, you forgot your homemade pesto. At the homemade, homemade pesto. Oh, <laughs> Finish it with the homemade pesto topped with the uh, arugula and parmigiano shape. And also we have uh, a risotto in uh, saffron and uh, shrimps and scallops. And we're very excited to and dive bon into appetito. this. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Thank you for joining us at Romeo Cucina today. I'm Stasha Serdike with Laguna Beach Foodies. We'll see you next time.